everybody. My name is Mrs. Vicki Jones, and I teach third grade at W.D. Hall Elementary School. I would like to introduce you to Michael Youssef, one of my third graders. Um, Earlier this school year, our school participated in the Hour of Code contest through our district, and during that time, Michael showed an enormous amount of excitement. As a result, Michael um, was awarded a scholarship to go to Winter Code Camp, and, uh, which lasted for about a week. So Michael is going to show you a couple of projects that he created um, after he learned um, how to code. So Michael, would you like to show us what you've created? Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. This is my, this is like a Minecraft thing. Just mining blocks. This is my first one. Then two. Another one, which is Cheesy Mouse. A really simple project. Not advanced. Believe it. <laughs> you, he caught me. Game froze. That's what happens when the cat catches the mouse. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So as Michael has told the class, he's in, as we rehearse, he said, now this is when I was a beginner, and this is very basic. And so after returning from uh, winter code camp, Michael was so excited that he wanted to share what he had learned with the entire class. So he begged me, Mrs. Jones, please, can I show my projects? Can I teach everybody how to code? It's so much fun. And sure enough, um, I really didn't have to do much. I just needed to be a, the facilitator to kind of guide them and provide them with the opportunities to have Michael teach them how to uh, use code and develop their own projects. Um, and what's really exciting is that during this time, the students have actually launched off and created their own projects. They help each other, they collaborate, they critique each other. And um, so Michael, you have a most recent project that you created that you'd like to show with everyone, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and show your most recent project. Kitty Play Yay. More advanced. It has a few mini games. This is after a few months, so it's now more advanced. Okay, this is a game. Ah. Back for one of the mini games. You can switch costumes, you have to take care of a cat, feed it, make it go to sleep. <laughs> it's Robo Cat now. It's my most favorite wizard cat and King Cat. And my friend Brianna sees all kinds of stuff right now. It wasted it's all its money, see? Because it's keep on buying costumes. So let's feed it. Drink it. And uh, Jones. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. One of the mini games. It's a quick mini game, which is in this project. It's called Wait, wrong one. Was one right here? Yeah, here it is. Quick mini game for the game because didn't you see that skeleton? So he's right here, trying to get the cat. We trapped him. We trapped No. <laughs> <sighs> run away, run away. It's a mini game. So Michael shows 
such enthusiasm. He's a representation of my entire class. The, the entire class is extremely excited to um, have been able to create their games. They want to continue on to the next level. And I believe Michael's next um, goal is to explore Java. He's got some future ideas as well, some ideas from the future um, that he would like to um, use. So would you like to share some of your ideas for the future, Michael? Yeah. I'd like to start a college club at my school. Maybe, but basically start a code camp for labeling each color for advanced and not advanced. See, this is a game a beginner would do. Cheesy Mouse. Cheesy Mouse is right here. And this is a game more advanced would do. Can you play it? Wow. And this is a wizard game, which is not so advanced. Dinosaur, go away. <laughs> Jones. As a teacher, I am so delighted to see um, my students using code in the classroom. Um, they're using their, their problem-solving skills that they're taught to use in math. Um, they're using their writing skills. Um, this is a great avenue for skill building all around. Um, the, in, the level of engagement is just incredible. And as a teacher, I'm delighted to see my students excited about learning. Um, so I, I'm so excited that Michael had a chance to share what he's been able to experience and to share with others. Um, and I just want to say that I'm really um, honored to be a part of a district that's on the cutting edge of educational technology. Thank you.